Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome to another episode of the Weekly Weigh-In. Today, we're going to be talking about Milo Yiannopoulos and his fall from grace from the alt-right. Milo Yiannopoulos, a.k.a. Draco Malfoy's ugly twin brother, is really good at reinventing himself. The far-right provocateur has already had three names. He's gone by Milo Henrahan and Milo Andreas Wagner, which were his other two names. But this is where it gets a little weird. You see, people are calling for one of his phases of reinvention, his newfound career in the U.S., ditching his tech blogger job to come to an end. You see, for the longest time, he was writing for Breitbart News, and recently, due to a scandal from a past blog cast where he advocated pedophilia, um, Breitbart decided that it was a little embarrassing and they called for his resignation. Well, Milo kind of beat them to the punch and resigned himself. There has been a lot of mounting calls for Mr. Yiannopoulos, who rose to fame in his far-right anti-immigration views, to be deported from America since he is apparently pro-pedophilia. And those remarks actually resurfaced on an old podcast. Now, in this footage, the former senior Breitbart editor appears to endorse sexual relationship, relationships between younger boys and older men. I don't know. That just sounds so creepy. This coming from a man who is anti-trans, and he says that he wants to see laws passed where trans women cannot enter bathrooms because he wants to see women and girls protected, right? But yet, it sounds very hypocritical because he is condoning relationships between underage boys and older men. So yeah, that's actually kind of hypocritical. Now, since this podcast resurfaced, the Kentborn journalist has resigned from the far-right news site Breitbart, as I stated earlier, and... At, when he resigned, it sparked a lot of speculation as to whether the alt-right figurehead would be forced to leave the U.S. A lot of people have demanded that he be deported on Twitter, and the hashtag DeportMilo has been, well, increasing in traction. Well, although Mr. Yiannopoulos has been banned from Twitter for life, especially after what happened in July... Now, if you're not really familiar with why he was banned from Twitter, he helped lead a lot of racist and sexist abuse against an actress by the name of Leslie Jones. Leslie Jones was in the reboot of Ghostbusters, and um, he basically was harassing her, calling her names. He was also getting his followers to do it, too, which was bullshit. Now, even though he has been banned from Twitter... Um, he has gotten a lot, he has gotten one U.S. employer to sponsor him, and that U.S. employer was Breitbart. Sources who work for him told TMZ that he has lined up a new sponsor as his new media venture. Now, apparently, he does have a new media venture. We don't know what it is. But he said to The Independent that he would not be leaving America saying, hard luck, I'm staying put in the U.S. Mm, no. Especially when there's a lot of people who really hate your ass right now. Now, in the wake of a lot of his pedophilia remarks, the controversial columnist, who has previously described Islam as a cancer and suggested transgender people are mentally ill, he's had a lucrative book deal with a prestigious publisher by the name of Simon & Schuster. Well, uh, apparently, after the pedophilia remarks surfaced, Simon & Schuster pulled his appearance at the Conservative Political Action Conference. So, yeah. So not only was he his appearance pulled, his book deal got canceled, too. So, yeah, life's a bitch, and then they take away your book deal. Right, Milo? Last week, as I was saying before, he announced that he would step down from Breitbart News. And he apologized for his remarks. Now, Mr. Yiannopoulos has said that he resided in the U.S. on um, a 0-1 status. And this is an immigration status for people who possess extraordinary ability in the sciences, arts, education, business, or athletics. 
Um, also, this visa says that individuals must be sponsored by an employer or via an agent to qualify for the special immigration status. So since Milo is no longer working for Breitbart, we don't know what his citizenship future is going to be like. So this should be really interesting as this plays out. Mr. Yiannopoulos uh, recently told reporters that he claimed his immigration status in the U.S. is not linked to a work visa for Breitbart. Hmm. I don't know. Something smells really fishy here. And he's and the the article that I'm reading also says that he also used this conference to announce that he is setting up his own independent media company. He said his new venture, which will be announced in the next couple of weeks, will be more focused on entertainment and education than traditional journalism. Oh yay! More racist bullshit, more lies. <laughs> yeah, that's the last thing we need. Yeah, I I don't think so. He says that since moving to the U.S., he recently used university talk to publicly name and mock a transgender student who has been dubbed a spokesperson for the alt-right movement, a political movement which has been accused of racism, anti-Semitism, and misogyny, and sharing an ideology with far-right parties such as the French National Front. In an excerpt from the Drunken Peasants podcast, which aired a year ago, but recently circulated on social media, Mr. Yiannopoulos apparently advocated the possibility of sexual relationships between 13-year-olds and adults. Okay, folks, can we say you on that? However, he later said on his Facebook page that he agrees with the current age of consent and was not advocating relationships between older men and prepubescent boys. Well, I don't know. I saw this clip, and um, I'm going to call bullshit on that one. In the podcast, he, he said he defines pedophiles as people who are sexually attracted to children who have yet to hit puberty. He also says he believes some teenagers under the age of 16 are able to consent to sexual activity. Um, not if those 16-year-olds have parents that actually give a shit about them and are educating their 16-year-olds. Because I'll tell you what, I don't give a shit if my 16-year-old stepkid consents. There is not going to be some creepy motherfucker hitting on him. Because they're going to have to deal with mom first. Now, according to this article that I'm reading at the independent.co.uk, it says, in the UK, the Sexual Offenses Act of 2003 states that the age of consent is 16 and that any sexual activity involving consenting children under 16 is unlawful. The Sexual Offenses Act of 1956, which was used for sexual offenses committed before 2004, states that a boy or girl under the age of 16 cannot consent in law. Mr. Yiannopoulos cast his mind back to his own sexual abuse as a teenager and did not condemn similar relationships between children and men. He said young boys discover who they are through such relationships, even when they're sexual in nature, and can give them security and safety and provide them with love and a reliable rock where they can speak to their parents. Ooh. I don't know about that, Milo. That just sounds really creepy. So my thinking is Milo was, is, was abused as a child. And now he's lost his fucking mind. I don't know. He says he's responded to the videos of the podcast being shared on social media on, and on his personal Facebook page saying that he doesn't support pedophilia, but wait a minute, you know, I saw the video and you see differently. So uh, like I said, I'm gonna call bullshit on that. He claimed that the video being circulated has been selectively edited. The podcast, which is filmed, can actually be seen in a link in the description box below. So if you'd like to see, see the full on interview, judge for yourself. And what I saw was not edited. I know because, you know, I edit my own videos. I know cuts and this was not cut at all. So, I mean, yeah, nice try on that one, Milo. Seriously. So as for him leaving Breitbart 
and just kind of disappearing out of out of the mainstream media for a while all i have to say is there is a god and i'm gonna say if they want to deport him i am all for it because i don't want somebody like that who was not born here in my country supporting hate and pedophilia and bullshit because you know what that's not american that is not okay and i what i'm gonna say to that is Milo, if they do deport you, don't let the door hit you on your sanctimonious ass on the way out. And that is my two cents on the subject. Well, folks, we have come to the end of another video. So y'all know what to do. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Want to leave a comment? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Spread the love. Hit the share button. And if you like what I'm doing on my channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to follow what I am doing on all of my other social media channels, such as Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, you could do that all in one place at Fat Middle Age Ginger PDX .com. So, folks, I am signing off, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.